folks welcome back so the other day I was uh, asked uh, about the um, m855 the green tip SS 109 bullets these are IMI uh, factory rounds so I happen to mention that I could uh, probably get the bullets to be you know 29 3000 3100 feet per second the only hurdle I'm up against is, is the uh, the 223 556 barrels I have are only 16 inches. So, I'm going to I'm going to test it. I'm going to see uh see what I can get. I have a whole bunch of these uh you know, the green tip are kind of kind of faded, but they are green tip. They are magnetic. They do have the steel core. Uh these are loaded in spear cases. The the powder choice that I went with is BLC2. In the Lima book, it had, uh, what was it, 3,100-ish, uh, uh, somewhere around there, max charge. And that was 26 grains of BLC2. I did load up five rounds of 26.3, just to see where we can go. Um, I'm going to shoot, uh, I'm going to shoot the, S, uh, the IMI, there we go. I'm going to shoot the IMI cases first, the rounds first just to see the velocity and uh, then I'll shoot um, my hand loads just to see see where we're where we're at with velocity um, I'm gonna turn the camera around so it's facing the uh, chronograph that I have set up right here and, uh, and it's like 10 yards from the from the gun so yeah all right so let me turn the camera around and uh, get that set up and then uh, we'll go from there All right, so here we go. The uh, just beyond the barrel is is my target stands. I don't know if we can. Uh, yeah, you can't can't really see it in this on the screen, but um, that is uh, my chronograph. And uh, like I said, I'm going to shoot the um, IMI cases first, just to check the velocity, and then uh, I'll move on to the to my hand loads. All right, so you can see that was around uh, 2,800. None of them broke over uh, 29 that I saw. Um, so for uh, 62 grain IMI, they uh, it was a pretty good group down there. Um, I'm gonna uh, go down there and put another sticker and uh, just to. Uh, compare compare my loads so uh, put this on pause and uh, we'll restart in a minute here we go uh, 26 grains of BLC 2 with the uh, SS 109 ball ammo and, uh, hopefully I don't blow my face off Well, that was cons considerably uh, slower than I thought. 2,700. Wow. Alright, yeah. There we go. So the, uh, the primers all look good. No, definitely no, uh, no flattening of the four I found. Um... So let's uh, let's bump it up in uh, twenty six point three. All right, so uh, here are the um, last five. Let's see if I can get them in focus. This all look good. go Pop 
primers are all flat. Well, not flat as far as pressure, but they're not, uh, definitely not, not expanding out. I don't see, I don't see any pressure signs. The, uh, all the cases, um, the necks look fine. They, uh, no split necks. The, um, they're good. What do you think? 26.5? 26.6? Go up another 0.3 th grains. VLC 2. I don't see why not. Alright, I'm going to go uh, load some more. Alright, so this is a quick loadout on uh, the powder I have for, uh, for choice. Uh, now these are all in the, um, hey, Olight is having a, uh, a flash sale today. The, uh, this isn't the flashlight that they're having a sale on, but, um, I use this in my press do, 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 until I get my other, uh, um, light that I just ordered from, oh, Gavin Tube just, just, uh, did a video on him. Shit. I ordered it. Anyways, long story. Let's uh let's move on with this uh without rambling. So the Lima book has these powders listed. Now let's see, do they have this? 4895? H4895. Alright, this isn't one of the powders. So let's see. IMR 4895. IMR 4895. This one has the uh, max charge of 25.5 at 3139. All right. Um, BLC2 that I just tried. Max charge 26 grains at 3198. And let's go with the Varget. 26.5. That's listed as a compressed charge 3165 uh, IMR 3031 where is it I know they have it listed right there uh, 23.5 and that is uh, listed at 3048 feet per second sorry if my hands getting in the way uh, H335 they have this listed at 25 grains at 31.68. Benchmark. Benchmark, benchmark, benchmark right here at 24 grains, and that is 31.33 feet per second. Reloader 15 in the back. They have that at 26.7. I'm surprised that's not a compressed load. That's, uh, that's stick powder. That's 26 grains. That's, big. that's, that's a lot. Uh, anyways, 3178 for velocity. Now, their test barrel, I think, is usually a 24 inch barrel. Try to move this thing around. Uh, let's see here. Firearm used universal receiver, Colt AR 15, universal receiver, 24 inch barrel. Uh, their universal receiver, 1 and 12 inch twist. Holy smokes. The uh, Colt. AR-15 was 1 in 7. So, we'll take that as that. Now, I know another other powders will work for the 223. Um, XBR, that's listed in quite a few different uh, different charges. And I, I'm pretty sure H, H4895 is listed. Uh, TAC, that down in the screen, TAC, that's... A powder that can be used. It's similar to H335. AR Comp. That can be used. But it's not listed for this SS109. Uh, Power Pro Varmint. I'm not sure if I've seen that. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, and I have Reloader 19. I don't know if this is listed anywhere. I haven't looked through the uh, Hornady book or um, Hodgson's, but... So, 
I will uh, just um, go back with the BLC2, even though that was rather slow. Hmm. All right, my 48.95. Wow, decisions. Love to see it. Love to see this get to uh, 2,900 feet per second, but not sure. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What am I gonna do? What the fuck? All right, we'll scratch all of that all out, but um. Hmm. All right, so yeah, I'm just going to uh, load up five more BLC2 and uh, go from there. All right, so this is what I uh, what I come up with. Seven different uh, seven different charges, seven different powders. I did go with the BLC2 again, uh, and I did bump this charge up at 26.6. So that will be first, and then. Uh, then we're going to go with the H335 at 25.3, IMR3031 at 23.5, Benchmark 24.3, IMR4895 25.5, Varget at 26.5. 26 and then uh, reload of 15, 26.7. And reload of 15 was by far the most compressed charge at max, max, uh, max book uh, charge. So, all right, let's get this going because I gotta shit shower and shave and go to work. The last one was reload of 15 and she's a little flat. Nothing I haven't seen before and nothing I'm really, really scared of. It's not pierced, but that was definitely compressed. I think the next fastest, next, uh, yeah, the next fastest that I saw was um, H335. That's not horrible. This is the IMR forty eight ninety five. Not bad. Uh, IMR thirty thirty one. This will be the Varget. This is the benchmark. This is the BLC2. She's kind of flat. She's flat chested. Flat primer. So, all right, Darian. I think if we could get a 20 inch barrel we definitely can get uh, we definitely can get 3000 3200 with a 20 inch barrel so if you want to uh, pierce some steel we can do this yeah, thanks for watching um, I'm gonna edit this down so it's not so uh, not a 30 minute long video and uh, we'll go from there I appreciate you all watching and uh, like comment subscribe I do have a uh, Amazon affiliate um, account and uh, I'll put it in the description uh, I'll, I'll link something you know whether it's a magnet or a gun belt or you know gun holster uh, it'd be great if you could uh, you know buy 
buy buy a box of cat food or a bag of cat food or or um, buy some uh, some lemmy shine dish dish soap and uh, so you can wash your brass it uh, any 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 little bit helps and uh, and you know because all these components aren't cheap nor are they free but this entertainment is free so thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you soon bye